up, Scorpios? Welcome to Embracing Matches. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you've hit the notification bell, purchased the reading, or if you've donated to my page, thank you. This energy can be masculine or feminine. It can be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. Cross watchers, if you do not have Scorpio in your chart or anyone around you that does, just know. The Spirit brought you here for a message, okay? So just hang out. Take what resonates. Leave what does not, okay? Okay, for Scorpio. Scorpio. You guys have love and psychic abilities. Okay, you guys may be thinking about love, maybe thinking about someone special or how something's going in a relationship with someone right now. You guys may be getting valuable spiritual knowledge at this time. Okay? So, you know, you may be learning some lessons. You may be, you know, learning some things about yourself. You may be learning some things about a person that you may be in a relationship with. Okay? If you guys want to take that how it resonates. But this is what I'm seeing. Okay? The divine is giving you gifts. The divine is opening up your third eye, opening up the portal between you and them, you and your higher self. Your higher self may be trying to guide you right now, may be trying to give you information regarding someone in your love life, right? You may be having dreams regarding your love, okay? Some of you need to accept and believe in who you are. You may not be feeling like, you're that confident right now. You need to be honoring your true feelings, right? Whatever those may be. <laughs> Some of you may be, may be seeking an equal give and take in love. Some of you may not be getting what you're supposed to be getting from someone. And you may need to seek a, a balance of give and take. You know, whatever gifts are coming towards you now, you need to trust them. You may have a clairvoyant person around you that confirms the answers that you are questioning. You know, the you may have some answers and you're wondering, is this really what it is and you may need to get in touch with someone with psychic abilities or someone that is a clairvoyant so that they can help you your intuition is trying to guide you with this person right and your intuition is also trying to guide you to a path that you're supposed to be on at this time you need to trust the things that you're seeing while you're sleeping. I'm sorry, the divine keeps giving me that. Some of you may be questioning dreams. Some of you may be thinking that this is not real. But it is. Okay. Pay attention. What does uh, Scorpio need to know about love? What does Scorpio need to know about love, please? Love. I don't read reversals. But my cards are upside down anyway. So I have the four of pentacles. The hanged man. And the page of cups. Okay.
some of you have been holding on to a person for dear life. Or this person may be trying to hold on to you. When I see the Four of Pentacles card, that tells me that someone's not letting go, right? Someone's being a little greedy. Look how she's holding that purse. This is my, this is my greedy card. This is my overly cautious card. Right? Someone may be dealing with a Capricorn or have Capricorn in their chart. Someone may be holding on to their money, may be mean with money. They may be holding on to a relationship. They are fearing letting go. Someone here is not allowing the other person to go. Someone here may not feel like socializing much either. The hangman, this is like a contemplation mode for me. This is trying to come to terms with what it is that you would like to do. This is someone trying to get their thoughts together about something or someone. For some of you, this came, could be why you don't want to go out. Okay. And some of you, you have someone around you that doesn't want you, you out of their sight. They want you to be attached to them. They're on some old mind, 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 or that may be you, Scorpio. Okay. Somebody feels like they don't want to, uh, They don't want to be without you right now. Or you may feel like you don't want to be without someone else right now. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to answer the door with my crazy daughter. All right, now, back to what we was talking about. Someone here... Is not trying to either let you go or you're not trying to let someone go, okay? When I see the four of pentacles, like, like I said, this is my greedy card. This is my holding on card. This is my not letting shit out my sight card. Possession, situations, okay? Issues, past issues, holding on to bullshit from the past. Holding on to your money, holding on, on to finances, Holding on to people that are able to provide finances, too, for some of you. <laughs> right? But basically, what you're doing or what someone here is doing is isolating themselves away from other people. Now, you could be doing this while you're in a relationship. Or you can be doing this while you're thinking about a relationship. Because we have this hanging man, the hanged man here, right? This is this is sacrifice, this is surrender. This is things at a delay. So if you guys are thinking about love right now may not be coming towards you, or the, the love that you want from someone may not be coming towards you right now. If some of you are waiting for some sort of monetary situation, that may be delayed too. You guys are being called to surrender and just see how things play out. Some of you may be in a situation you're not happy with. You may feel stuck or trapped. If this is a relationship, you're not happy with it. Some of you may need to take a step back from this relationship and take another look at it. You need to you need to change the way that you're looking at it, okay? Change your perception. Some of you may be in your head about something regarding a love interest for no reason. You may need to release yourself from a situation. You may need to release yourself from a negative relationship pattern. If you're holding on to feelings for an ex, you need to release those feelings. 
because of the pentacles here, I have to go into career and I have to go into, you know, like education because it could be that too. Some of you may be uncertain about what you're supposed to be doing career-wise. Some of you may not know how to move forward and you're thinking about it now. You may be in your feelings about it now. Some of you may need to change the way that you're thinking about your career. Okay? Some of you may need to understand that whatever it is that you're thinking, you may be focusing too hard on it. And that is why, you know, the answers are not coming to you. If that makes any sense. Yes? Let me get some water. You guys have the Page of Cups. Now, when it comes to the Page of Cups, you see this? So this looks like this man is sitting down and his feet and a freaking flying pig <laughs> are over his head, right? Imagination maybe, right? Something may have happened in the summertime too. Your emotions may have you all over the place, basically. Your emotions may have you seeing shit that does not exist right now, is what this card is telling me. Or you may be seeing things the way that you want to see them and not the way that they're actually presented to you based on your emotions. With this Page of Cups, some of you are needing to go through some sort of healing here. Having to do with a love situation. Somebody here may be thinking about having a baby too. Because the page of cups for me could be a baby. Or a young child. But some of you may be getting a message. That's going to be delivered to you in person. From someone else. Having to deal with a love issue. Or an issue regarding money. Okay. Be mindful. My cards are all upside down. Give me one minute. I hate when, when I shuffle my cards and I make them go all different directions by mistake. I do not read reversals and I just noticed some of these cards are upside down that's going to get on my nerves that Virgo side of me that's OCD okay yeah that part <sighs> sorry this is gonna bother the shit out of me I don't even know how I did that Now, regarding these spiritual gifts that you guys may be second-guessing, now that I got my cards right, let's see what they say. Spirit, give me what Scorpio needs to know about these spiritual gifts. Physical, psychic abilities, psychic abilities, please, spirit, for Scorpio. Thank you. I have the chariot. All right, listen. With this card, it shows... A horse-drawn carriage. Okay, with a white horse and a dark horse, right? Which symbolizes to me two different paths that you guys may have. 
you guys may be thinking about right now as well, okay? You guys may be going in a certain direction and you may not really understand that direction, but Spirit is telling me that you guys are going a certain way right now. Some of you may have cancer in your chart or may be dealing with someone with cancer in theirs. When I see this, okay, your psychic abilities may be telling you about gifts that you're going to get that's going to help you be self-disciplined. It's going to help you with your determination. It's going to put your goals in focus. But you guys need to fix this emotion card in order to have something successful. So, in a roundabout way, your psychic abilities that you're getting right now, these gifts that you're getting, your third eye being open, the information that you're getting from the divine right now is giving you details on how to heal yourself, okay, so that you can have different things in your life, so that you can have a successful relationship, so that you can have a successful career, Right, You've been bottling up emotions, holding on to these emotions and to the point where these emotions are now causing you to see things in a way where you're just not even seeing them correctly. If some of you are having issues in a relationship, you're not really working together with that person. That person may not want to work with you. Someone has anxiety issues. If you're a single person, you are letting your past relationships impact your entire life. You have to let go, have the strength to let it all go and move forward. Move forward. Your intuition may be telling you that you need to move forward. Okay, some of you may be on a spiritual path and you may be denying it right now. Spirit is trying to pull you back there. Some of you don't want to be there. Okay, but you keep denying it. Spirit doesn't want you to do that. They want you to embrace it. Okay. Yeah, someone here... needs to heal that's what i see is the common point of all of these cards here is healing healing your emotions all right some of you may need to heal something with your mom right this is mother earth family creation spirit of gaia okay so either you're a mother and need to heal something with your child or this could be you having to heal something with your mom. Some of you could be pregnant at this time too. With the Page of Cups, I did mention a baby. This could be a pregnant mother, okay? Some of you could be in. For the females, if you're expecting right now, that could be why you're in your emotions, okay? That could be why you are, are so up and down right now, Scorpio, okay? May have people around you that's gossiping too with the spirit of the flocks. People may be talking about you or a situation that you're in. May have rivals and rivals may be coming out of the woodwork at this time. Right? Magic is being done on you as well. Magic, psychic, sorcery. Spirit of the witch. Right? This could be why you're so emotional about a love situation and your intuition could be telling you uh-huh who is this person that's messing with scorpio with this magic Okay, 
away. And then the card falls on the floor. All right. Somebody that likes to drink a lot. This person is doing magic on you. This person is self-medicating. The drink is right there in their hand. Okay? This person loves alcohol. Okay? This person may be visiting you or, or um, in the 5D or may be projecting their negative energies on you. So meaning... When you're around this person, this person, you know, may give you bad feelings, bad vibes. This person may have you feeling secondary as well, meaning like you're not the only person in their life. You may get some shocking news about this person. This person is very vengeful, okay? Thus the magic that they're doing on you, right? Right? And they're very forceful because they want their way and they'll do anything that they need to. But you need to see this moon right here. Okay? There's also a moon right here. These moons are telling you that there's a lot about this shit that you don't know about. And you don't even know what's being talked about behind your back either. Oh, boy. Sorry for the length of this video, guys. I was trying to make it short. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, that's too many, sir. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, okay. Make it plain, please. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay. That's more like it. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Which indicates to me that you may have a new person in your life. Okay, because you know this person, whoever this is. Anything else for Scorpio? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, this is someone that's coming towards you. Okay, but you first, this person here is going to come towards you after you heal from this situation with this person that's doing magic on you. This person that gives you a lot of passion is the person that's doing the magic. All right, sending you guys love and light. You guys take care. <laughs>